So we are officially in week 32. As of next week, we are going into week 33. Um, I can't believe how quickly the time is going by. Um, definitely starting to feel my body preparing um, for her to come out. Um, um, how are we feeling? The good and the bad. Well, the good, um, I still feel really um, energized. I feel good. Um, I'm still able to um, continue working out um, as I have been. Um, my energy, my energy is great. Um, I haven't felt uh, extra tired or anything. I'm just still going through my daily, and um, that's really exciting because um, you know I, as as I've progressed, I've I've had so many people tell me, oh, you're going to start to feel uh, tired or like the the extra weight and all these things, and I'm t totally feeling really really good still. Um, the bad is is the trouble trying to be comfortable um, when sleeping. Um, she is very heavy on my stomach. Um, she's getting bigger, so I can I can definitely feel that shift and that weight uh, when it comes to trying to get comfortable at night. It's just it, it sucks, but it's worth it. You know, I have I have like I have two boppies. I have body pillows. I have all the pillows and. And Juan's really good about helping me get comfortable tucking the pillows and, um, you know, in my back and things like that to kind of help with the comfortability. And um, unfortunately, we've had to switch sides on the bed. Um, so I've been sleeping on his side of the bed, and it, it actually has been more comfortable. I've I've noticed the last, it's only been maybe um, the last maybe four days or so, and I have noticed that my sleep has been better. So, um and the thing is, is like I've noticed that I can go when I'm getting good sleep, I can go throughout the night uh, without having to make too many frequent uh, restroom uh, trips. So that's that's definitely um, a plus. Um, yeah, the only the only bad thing I can think of is that um, I'm starting to to obviously um, not be able to get comfortable in sleeping. And um, I'm noticing that. Um, that I get really uh, winded, um, my, like I am constantly like trying to catch my breath uh, when I lay down. So I, I noticed that. Another thing that I noticed was that when I don't work out is when I can feel the extra uh, weight when I'm walking around. So I have um, within the last maybe month or so, I have only been doing like one one rest day. Um, two if, if if need be but just one rest day and and um incorporating my different workouts so I'm still doing like I'll do boot camp which is like full body and it's a full body workout with weights um or I'll do um I'll do like a fit dance workout here at home um changing it up but also still incorporating um the same kind of workouts I was doing before with weight training and things like that, but trying to be um, trying to do something physical every day, so that I don't feel um, so tired. Because I do notice that um, on the days that I'm resting, if I'm not being, if I'm not moving around and staying, you know, active, I do feel um, I do feel the tiredness. That's the only time. So I do try to keep myself active if I know that I'm not going to be able to take a nap uh, that day I do try to stay really active but other than that like I feel really good um, baby is growing we just had our our 32 week appointment um, last Friday or this past Friday and uh, she's growing she's measuring about four and a half pounds um, her heart sounds great and healthy it's always amazing to to hear that um, I've I've only gained an additional two pounds. However, she's measuring bigger. So, although I'm not putting on more weight as I thought that I was going to um, at this time, um, I know my doctor said I'm still going to continue to put on weight, which is great. Um, but as far as the pounds versus like my growth, like I noticed that I am getting bigger. My belly is getting bigger. She's getting bigger. I'm just not putting on the pounds. Um, as quickly as I thought I was going to, but that may change. Um, that may change as we get closer. So as of next week, we have 
seven weeks until she arrives. I am hoping that she stays in for the entire 40 weeks just because uh, we want her to be fully developed before she comes out. So I'm not in any rush to get her out. I'm still enjoying every moment of, of pregnancy and, and just feeling amazing. Um, we have finished, or Juan has finished her dresser. He did a whole uh, paint and, and stencil on it. And he's finishing up the last two pieces for the crib. He's painting it for me as well, or for her. And uh, he's finishing that up. We just got it on Friday. And um, he just has two more little pieces to uh, the base to paint and we can put it together and have that set up. We also got um, my, my mom uh, went out to, to um, Los Callejones and got the, the, uh, the material for the curtains that I'm going to be making for her room. So I'm really excited because I almost felt like I wasn't. I wasn't prepared and I feel now like it's all coming together and it's gonna it'll be ready for her arrival and it's not so uh, it's not so stressful like what am I doing with my time kind of thing because I do feel like I feel like because I've I've we've had such a positive experience like the time is flying and it's almost like it's a little scary because um, you can never be you're never gonna feel 100% prepared but at the same time, I, I want to try my best to, to be as prepared as possible um, for her. So we are making a list for our um, for our hospital bag. We're going to be doing a hospital tour as well. And um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Like, I still can't believe that this is happening, but I'm really excited. And Juan's really excited. And... It's a very emotional time for the both of us, but it's beautiful. It's a, just a beautiful experience um, overall, and I'm just, um, I can't wait. So um, my family is planning um, our baby shower um, in, not this weekend, but the following weekend, it's been two weeks. Um, I'm really excited to celebrate with with um, our family and, and to have that time together. Um, and, I'm just kind of like taking it day by day and, and trying to, to hold on to this entire experience and, and everything and all the emotions and everything that we're going through, you know, on a daily process and, and um, trying to stay as, as calm as possible. I do notice that as much as I'm still like my mentality is still like go, 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 I'm a busy body, I notice that I am starting to like slow down in, the, in my processes of of the amount of time it takes me to do something so for example like i just did um my meal prep i actually started uh yesterday i did some things yesterday and i finished today and it would take me forever normally it takes me like an hour and a half um to do prep for the both of us and it just i feel like it was literally all morning i was prepping while i was working out while i was cleaning and doing all of these things and i do notice like I have to allow my body to to flow and to rest and and not overwork myself or because I I don't realize that I'm still like going like this in my head and my body is like a little bit slower because I have to take like a million pee breaks so I am working on that I am working on that and um, I think we are almost ready to to decide on a name um, nothing confirmed yet, so don't ask me because you're not going to get anything out of me yet. But um, overall, I'm, I am really excited. I can't believe that it's been, um, eight, that eight months have already passed us by and we have, you know, such little time to, to prepare for her arrival. But it's very exciting and I'm just um, thinking of all the amazing things that we're going to get to do as a family of three, that transition to a family of three is like a big deal and and I'm just really grateful for all the positivity and the love and support around us our friends and our family all of all of you guys that that are constantly pouring love into us and and support thank you um you know I'm still feeling really great and um we are just really excited and and we just talk about how excited we are that that this is happening and that it is just, um, it's just an amazing, an amazing feeling. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Um, 32 weeks down, 
seven weeks to go, uh, eight weeks to go, and technically seven weeks because we're done with 30, 32 weeks. But um, I'm really excited. 